and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck. We got a donation deck here that is Asper Law. So this is a deck based around rule of law. Um, that was the, the challenge. Um, the person uh, viewer donated to see a deck built around this card, this enchantment, two and a white enchantment. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. So yeah, with donation decks, um, that's there's the two ways to do them. You can either donate for like your own list that you have that you want to see played through a league, or if you just have an idea of a deck, or you just have like a card you want built around, um, or anything like that, you have like a idea for a shell, you can also donate for that, and I will build the rest of the deck. As you can see here, I took the blue white control deck that we played a couple of days ago as um, as another backbone to this to this. Uh, um, challenge here building a rule of law deck because so let's, let's think about the card so you can only each player can only cast one spell each turn so that means if you can cast a spell on your turn and a spell on your opponent's turn that's going to be a lot more valuable than just being able to cast uh, one spell a turn so we want to have a lot of instants because we want to be able to cast a spell on our opponent's turn so that's why you see here a lot of instants in the deck especially counter magic because if our opponent could only play one spell during their turn well if you just counter that spell then, then that's it. They're done. No Veil of Summer. Don't have to worry about it. You can't Veil of Summer. You can only play one spell a turn. Um, so yeah, so we got a lot. So I want to build around counter spells uh, to begin with there. You can see I'm only going with a couple of Quench because, you know, Quench, you know, counter unless they pay two. Well, if you can only play one spell a turn, it's pretty easy to have extra mana, right? So Quench isn't as valuable there. Uh, but besides counter spells, we got Chemister's Insights and Precognitive Perception. Other instants we can play on our opponent's turn. Of course, we have like Murderous Riders removal as well. But you know, this is another instant we can play on their turn to just fill the, fill our hand back up, make sure we keep hitting land drops and everything. And uh, besides that, of course, we do want to play a spell on our turn though. We don't want to just only have instants and only be able to like you know counter their one spell. So that's where when, whenever we have enough mana, where we can play like play a Thought Erasure on our turn, and then hold up a counter spell on our opponent's turn. You know, play, like, the back half of Murderous Rider after we already swift-ended something. You know, play the 2-3 Lifelinker, and then also be able to counter something on their turn. You know, so, like, being able to do stuff like that could could uh, be really nice. Teferi is, it seems really important with um, Rule of Law, because... Um, you know, maybe your opponent has instance also, so they can play two two spells, uh, you know, in each turn cycle. But if you have Teferi in play with Rule of Law, you know, they can't play a spell during your turn. They can only play one spell during their turn. So that's it. One spell. Hope hope you enjoyed playing your one spell. That's it. <laughs> and then, you know, if you counter it, that's it. Then it's then it's your turn. So Teferi and Rule of Law seems seem pretty awesome together. And then it, um, our main win condition, of course, is Finale of Glory. Just a, a really good, strong card here. Uh, they can make a whole bunch of 2-2s. Two um, so that's that's how we're going to be finishing games out. Sometimes since it's beating them with Teferi. But, yeah, so this seems pretty interesting. Especially, uh, so, you know, <clears throat> as you can tell, I only have two Rule of Law in here, though. Those are kind of like the last couple cards to cut. Like, I don't know if we really want to play four. Because the thing is, is, once you already have one Rule of Law... The other rule of laws are just complete dead cards. And even if you don't have rule of law, of course, your deck is still, um, you know, doing just fine and everything. And we have the a good amount of card draw in here, especially with the chemistry's insights and perceptions. So we can kind of dig for rule of law also. Um, but, you know, like it's not it's not completely vital. Like our, our it's not like our deck doesn't work if we don't have rule of law. Like we still just play all of the rest of our spells. So I went to just having two because it's the kind of card that you, I really don't want to draw two copies of but I, I would like to draw the first one um but yeah we could have gone with the third copy um in here also that was that was the very last card that i cut i had 61 cards here with the third copy and i was thinking man should i cut a, a dovin's veto or you know i was kind of like looking at cart and decided to, to just trim the the third copy of rule of law and make it two yeah so rule of law is really good against fires of invention um you know, like they they can spend their turn playing Fires of Invention, but that's their one card. <laughs> and then the next turn, and then they can't play anything on your turn. And then the next turn, they can play one card again, and that's it. <laughs> and so it's it's pretty good with Fires of pretty good against Fires of Invention, especially how they have to take their turn to just play the one of them. 
Um, yeah, Narset was an option, but whenever we played the blue-white control deck the other day, we didn't really need Narset. We didn't have any Narset. We just had a couple of Narsets in the sideboard, and they didn't seem super important. Other things to do with our mana, if we, you know, we just play our one spell, of course, we got our two castles. We got a blue castle and a white castle. Uh, that Another way to use extra mana when we're just playing, like, the one spell each turn. But that's kind of the, that's the, that's the whole uh, gist of our deck. That's the thought process behind it. Let's go and play a league. Let's see how it goes. Um, question, isn't Realm Cloak Giant just better than Time Wipe? Um, not, not necessarily. I mean, you do get the 7-7. Seven, seven. Basically, with this one, Time Wipe can, can put Murderous Rider back into our hands. Like, that's, that's like the thing here. Um... You know, so, yeah. And the reason why not more Kaya's Wrath is because I'm a little worried about casting Kaya's Wrath. I have I have three sources that don't cast Kaya's Wrath at all with the two islands and the Vantress. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm a little worried about casting it. But also just kind of splitting it up, you know, if they have, you know, whatever, that something that gets rid of one. I don't know. I, I want to see if we can, like, return Murderous Rider. I could definitely see that being a nice thing to do. Anyway, here we go. You here believing in this jank? Nice. So yeah, let's see if we can actually get Rule of Law in play and see if we can actually get to do stuff. I've, I can say I've never played Rule of Law in Standard before. This will be new. But that does sound pretty sweet, just having, you know, like stopping Veil of Summer, right? Because they're not... You only cast one thing a turn. So you counter something, you don't have to worry about them trying to counter back. Alright, we're secretly blue-black control. It's a secret. I have not built around Wishclaw Talisman yet. No, I haven't, actually. Tale about me is abs I think a little merriment is in order. Alright, turn two Oko is gonna be a little tough. Maybe we'll draw Murderous Rider, that'd be nice. Welcome to the feast. Okay, we drew Murderous Rider. That was nice. However... Yeah. I grace you with my lack of presence. Now we need to draw white mana. <clears throat> Let's see some panic in the streets. Oh, have at it, boys. All right, white mana. No, not white mana. So well, we have insight if need be. We also have sabotage if we want that. I do want that. That'll do. Questing Beast is pretty good. Questing Beast is pretty good. All right, so we got Noctis Grass, we got a Dispark. Um, do I want Disdainful Stroke? There's 
There's nothing necessarily that I don't like in our deck. I think the vetoes are, are pretty important with them having Okos. We really want to have Veto on turn two. I'm going to cut just two of like the card draw spells. I'm pre being pretty fast. Yeah, good chance that they are a more heavy deck after sideboarding where uh, Disdainful Stroke could be even better. We got a lot of counter spells already in, though. So I quench one, rider another. Don't really want this perception countered. Definitely see that being wrong, putting that to the bottom though. All right, we'll take into Stainful Stroke. Ends up being completely wrong. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. <clears throat> Should have taken one of these things like Sarkin. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Uh, no, I have not built a deck with Thousand Year Storm and Thousand Year Storm and uh, Bolus of Citadel. No, I haven't. Surely you must be famished. Yeah, it's true. I guess I could I could have played Rider, Bounce Rider, killed Oko. I was just thinking like that thing was gonna be hidden to ferry for three anyway, might as well just bounce it. At that point, but yeah, maybe I should have just ticked it up. Fairy is good at stopping my opponent's counter spells. Hmm. Playing playing Hellkite.
I'm gonna take out two sweepers and play two more expensive counter or two more counters. Sweepers are just pretty expensive and all their creatures have haste anyway. What could replace Finale in the deck? Uh, you could play like, like Liliana. Uh, you know, some other some other card that wins the game. Um. So yeah, maybe Liliana's the way to go there. Ugin, yeah, Ugin Liliana. Don't share my vision. Yeah, turn two Oko on the play is pretty tough. Do they have it into turn three questing beast? Again. It's pretty tough. Sorry, rule of law, I don't quite have time to play you right now. We need. We got triple blue already. Double black. Pretty good everywhere. All right. Need to find our card draw now. I guess our card draw gets disdainful stroked. It's a good cycle. Get a bunch of food. All right, that's their one spell that turn. <laughs> All right, we got our rule of law in play. 
Trust me, I have a plan. It's yeah, Rule of Law's been reprinted a few times. It's been in different core sets before. Of course, with Teferi, we don't even have to worry about Disdainful Stroke. I guess it's just kind of a card that... I guess it's just kind of a card that maybe they just wanted like in the historic format. It's kind of annoying. I get the point. You have infinite food. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here we go. Wincon. They need they need Chandra. Like six mana Chandra. That's uncounterable. That's like the only card they can have to get out of this. Because they only get to play one card and we get to counter it. They can't play anything on my turn. Okay, let's sabotage. <laughs> Wincon. Castle Arden Vale. I've got it. <laughs> Seems more rude than Simic Flash. It's like you can only play one card a turn. I don't I don't know why. I mean those them's the rules. I don't I don't make the rules. Those are the rules. Three, six, seven. So we could do finale for seven right now. Or I can wait to see if we draw. No, we, we should finale for seven right now. Imagine if castles are only win con. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could have like blue finales to reshuffle our library and stuff. I'm <laughs> 100% crafting two rule of laws right now. <laughs> nice. No, I don't have any devout decrees in the sideboard. <laughs> so I heard you hate Simic Flash. I'll raise you Esper Law. Oh no, is our opponent roping? No. Okay. Resolve. My turn. This might be a bad idea. All right. Your turn. Oh, there is two decrees in the sideboard? Okay, so there are. So no, I didn't bring them in. Oh yeah, so that's right. There, there are in there. Sorry, my bad. So yeah, but no, I did not. 
bring them in. All right, so they can play one spell. That's it. You get one. What spell do you want? If it's six mana Chandra, they got a shot. That's the that's the spell they need. Can't be countered. Rude. You know what? I won't counter it anyway. Get out of here, Ceratops. There's no more dinosaurs. Bounce that. And that's game. They can crack a food. Oh no, it's not game. They can crack two foods. Use a food to, to eat a food. There goes nothing. Good play. They still have one out. Six mana Chandra. Esper Law, 1-0. Cause yeah, a good way to beat counter spells is being able to double spell, you know, right? Like you 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 know try to bait out the counter with, you know, like this one spell so you can resolve this other one. You know, like that kind of you know, like that whole game and everything, but you just play a rule of law, you're like, alright, you get your one spell. Alright, that's your spell, I'll counter it. That's it. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about that game. You don't have to worry about Anything else? You don't have to worry about them countering your counter. No, you just you you play your one spell. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, this is a pretty hard counter. Yeah, fires of invention. Yeah, don't even try fires of invention for this. Don't even want to. You only get your one spell. Activate Golos, it's like, alright, you get your one spell. That's it. Obviously, things that... Things like... Um, obviously, like, Field of the Dead is a problem. Because you don't need to cast a spell to get two twos with Field of the Dead. Uh, for, for myself, Kuro, you know, it could be different for other people. But yeah, for myself, I, I think Teamer Walkers was the, the best list I played in the event. And if I... If I had like one shot, you know, if I was only given one shot to do like my very best, like what deck would I play? I'd play the Team Walkers again. Yeah, I mean, I, I have four Ashiox and a couple and multiple onboard egos in the sideboard. Um, that's kind of the plan there. But yeah, it's. I don't think you'll likely have. Um, you know, if you put two Ethereal Absolution, they'll likely have both Ethereal Absolution. Kind of ever. Oh, what's going on here? They just don't play the goose. Cryptic Caves. Yeah, so, of course, like, Witch's Oven with Cauldron's Familiar. Like, if they would draw Cauldron's Familiar, I'd be in a lot of trouble. So we got to take the Witch's Oven there. These other things, I don't, you know, I don't really care about these things. That's an easy Cauldron Familiar take. Yeah, this looks like a Corvold oven deck. So. 
yeah, I'm playing two time wipe two Kaya's Wrath. I don't know, can't get better against Unmored Ego if that ever comes up. I have multiple Do I want to fetch island? Yeah, we can we can fetch island. I have uh, multiple lands that don't cast Kaya's Wrath. I have two islands and a Castle Vantra, so I have three lands that don't cast uh, Kaya's Wrath at all. And so I think playing Kaya's Wrath on turn four isn't always going to happen. Plus, we have we have Murderous Riders that maybe, you know, it's probably not going to happen too often, but maybe we pick up a Murderous Rider with a Time Wipe. I hope they don't draw another Witch's Oven. That's where this could go really bad if they draw another Witch's Oven. Game one, we're going to struggle against Golos, Field of the Dead, quite a bit. Just Field of the Dead in general, game one. We got a lot of stuff in the sideboard for that. Um, real fast aggro, we're going to struggle with a comp, like this kind of comp, like this combo where I'm. At, I'm kind of dead. Or I need a race with Finale. That was a really bad draw step for me. When do I want to use Finale? Finale for four now? Probably not. <laughs> no, Saturina, no. All right, the geese are the geese are down. Yeah, we need. Yep. Yeah, y'all are right. We need Teferi. We need Teferi bounce oven and a counter spell. So we need to find a counter spell for oven and Teferi bounce oven. I legions end these foods. It doesn't really matter like if they have five food or ten food right now because they just like make the one and bring it back. Like they can't unless unless they have like more sacrifice effects, they can't just keep on sacrificing the cauldron familiar. So getting rid of the geese doesn't really change much. Still five turns away from like finale for ten. Honestly, maybe I should just cast this main phase. Be able to scry three and then draw three. I probably could have just cast that main phase. I'm getting I'm getting a tap land to play. I mean I'm casting these things. I'm not gonna activate Phantris right now. So maybe I should just insight first, and then, yeah, we'll just insight first. Thanks, auto tap. Tap bla both black sources. That was good. Good auto tap there. Yeah, I don't want these. Good scry three. Uh, 
Ah, they knew. Autotap knew that I was going to be drawing a Dovin's Veto. Auto tap so smart. Are they going to have like Legion's End to get rid of my? My finale tokens. Hey, Rochian, doing good. Doing good. I hope not. Probably could have waited another three turns. Probably could have. <laughs> yep. That's true, yep. Winning under 30 minutes isn't really winning. <laughs> Oh no, double cat. This is bad. Double cat's bad. Hey, like a dudes. I should just attack first. Whoa. Main deck Veil of Summer. All right, then. That's the game we play in. Kaiser at the cats doesn't work. I mean, it just puts them in the graveyard. They just come back. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We have to Kai's Wrath now.
don't think we really need to attack first because of Mayhem Devil and everything. I kind of need to just play this to kill Mayhem Devil and gain seven life. Wait, that's three, four. So that put me down to one? Yeah, I guess I guess I'm just dead. Or no, no, because I gained the seven life. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the whole reason why I'm doing this right now. We would, we would have wait uh, three three more turns to get the ten four fours, but yeah, I probably should have if we could have survived. But it looks like looks like we probably could have three. We wouldn't have we like we still would not have gotten the three one two three four five six seven eight nine. Yeah, we would have had to wait till like this next turn before we would would have even gotten the ten four fours. We I guess we probably just don't we probably don't survive if I would have waited. Yeah, Hardcast Rider is rough into their Rider. I'm not going to scry here. I think we may need the mana. These these are not these are not playing spells. This is just using the ability of the familiar, which that's that's why it was this game took a turn for the worst when they drew this other oven. For sure. Just cast mur casting this as a creature just doesn't do anything. They they kill it. It doesn't help. We only get the one spell a turn. We gotta do something better. We gotta just draw two, look for something else. Need another finale. Should have scryed. <laughs> it's a rule of laws hurting me. Just lethal. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about that. Our deck could probably use a planar cleansing. But 
We could try to exile the, the cats with Ashiok. We have the decrees that can exile cats. If we can get the cats in the graveyard, we can, you know, like with the sweeper. And but then they could bring them back if they have food, of course. I can just ego cauldron familiar. Or or witch's oven. But I mean they can generate food other ways. Their deck didn't seem to do anything else at all. I don't know if it does anything else at all. It just didn't seem to. No, I don't have any spy glasses. I think we're probably going to need the rats. All right, need to draw a couple lands to start with. Good first draw step. We saw Veil of Summer game one, and so I'm known for my excellent type. Don't worry, I got this. Just gonna have this Teferi be able to shut that down, also. Whenever you sack a food, you can pay one. If you do, look at the top two cards of your library. You can reveal a permanent card from among them and put it into your hand. Let's try this. more like it maybe we should have played sabotage yeah the familiar by itself isn't as scary the, ov the oven is problematic Make another move. Down, 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 down. Dang, no lands. This 
Seriously, Might no lands? Bad idea. <sighs> this isn't great. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Finally, a land. Thing is, if, if I play anything, I don't get to hold up Sabotage. If I play anything. Besides this. I guess I just play this then. Because, yeah, if they play an oven, that's rough. Am I drawing an Ashiok? Why did I just shock? I should have shocked here. Yeah, I think it's a good chance that my opponent has Veil vale Summer here. I want to get rid of this goose that, that's just sitting here making food. We're not going to really double spell here anyway. Hey, Kitty, thanks for getting out to two subs, getting us to that sub goal. Excerpts and Cyrex. Welcome to the channel, both of y'all. So that is, we'll update that. That's uh, that's sub goal number 19 towards a 12 hour stream. We're doing a 12 hour stream at 20 sub goals. So we only need to hit one more sub goal to get there. Looks, looks like we will soon be having a 12 hour stream. Yeah, there's there's definitely room for a planar cleansing in the deck. That's what it kind of feels like they need that we need to have.
We need more lands, though, also. We need more lands. If I could kill the cats first. We need, like, we need... Use another sweeper here. Cry the Carnarium. It's also just a really good way to deal with that, I guess. Did not attack with Mayhem Devil. Cap lands? Ugh. I mean, I'm so close to being dead. This has just been such an awkward game with our mana situation. If I block the 2-2, Murderous Rider dies <clears throat> to the devil. If I block here, we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but we gain 2. Yeah, they just they just sack this thing to kill. It's an engine right there. It's kind of weird how pitiful my deck has looked against these Cauldron Familiars. 
Just nothing, nothing has worked because of Cauldron Familiar. That and we just got stuck on lands for too long. That certainly hurt. Like that first turn, that first time that we played the Chemister's Insight, you know, like whenever we hit the fourth land drop, then we played Chemister's Insight, drew two on their end step, untapped, drew another card, and there was no lands in there, and we couldn't hit a fifth land, and we had you know like eight cards or whatever. That that was devastating. Oh well, new game here. It does make sense that cats are super effective against Todd. That's true. Hawkeye's back there laying down. Oh no. Mystic Sanctuary? We may be in for a long one here. They gonna try to mill us out? I've got it. I don't know if I have a fast enough clock to stop from getting milled out. We'll see. Rule of law could be pretty cool. We need to hopefully just draw a couple more lands and get to play these things. Yeah, that's so I'm feeling rule of law could be pretty great here. Usually like a, a blue mill deck like this would probably rely on counter magic quite a bit as well. Trust me, I have a plan. So it's very should be very good. Three mana Oko? Or no, Oko. Or six mana Oko? I haven't played six mana Oko at all. Ooh, all right, Lou. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Try this. It's going to be a little bit before this gargoyle gets to attack me. I have to have seven cards in my graveyard before it can attack me. I got one. Should be able to bounce it again with the fairy by that time. Bounce rule of law. Nah. I like my rule of law. No, I am not making this up as I go. No, I do not have Narset in the Demir Affinity sideboard, no. So that allows their Gargoyle to attack. Which I guess I got a counter. 
I wanted to be able to use that absorb the next turn bouncing the gargoyle. Ah, thought erasure would have been nice. I've got time. Be able to take gargoyle with that. Cry, cry, draw. Yeah, Gargoyle milled over Murder Strider that kills it, and a, and Thought Erasure that would have taken it. My shields are down. They can play all sorts of spells. Oh, just one, just one spell. That's it. Don't worry, I got this. They could have played so many spells though. <clears throat> um five finale of glory for five You want to play anything else, opponent? You got three mana. Okay. No, nope. did not want to play anything else. That was it. Here goes nothing. This is why I talked about how quench isn't really that effective with rule of law. That's why we only have just a couple of quench for early game. <laughs> but. You know, I don't think my opponent's playing an 8-mana spell here. No, my opponent couldn't attack yet. I had six I had six cards in my grave my graveyard. When they milled it was the seventh. So they couldn't attack yet. <laughs> Rule of Law is so good. They probably have all these spells, so they're like, oh, I want to play all these spells, but they can only play one. Oh, we shut our opponent down with Rule of Law. Look at that! That's what they just played it 0 for. <laughs> That's their only play. Uh, that's so good. Alright, so I can bounce the O4, but then they could play an instant if I bounce the O4. I'll just let them have an O4. I'll protect you. I could, you know, try going for lethal there by bouncing the O4. Then they could have played one instant. I don't know what that instant would have been. I mean, drawing pre-combat for a second to fairy doesn't really matter because we have a we have rule of law. We can only play one spell. So like casting the insight pre-combat look for another to fairy doesn't help too much. Okay. That looked. That looked like that worked. If I bounce rule, they'd still have the time to play their instant then, so that doesn't really work. That doesn't really help me, because then that just defeats the purpose of doing all of that. They'd still have a window to play their instant, because my Teferi would die. It's at three loyalty. <sighs> Do I want to play Ashiok against the mill deck? For more win cons. I 
I kind of feel like I do, because if they like mill over my three finales, I don't, I can't really win. If they go and take out Quench, and time wipe, go with this. I guess I was supposed to play the other veto. Forgot to put in the other veto. I don't think our opponent's a, a Phoenix deck. I guess they could. I guess they could sideboard into a Phoenix deck. Probably not. Should have brought in the other veto. Yeah, Clover works just fine with with Rule of Law because you copy the spells. I think. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Does anybody, does anybody know with a, a judge, how does Clover work with Rule of Law? I guess I don't know. Well, yes, I know Mono Blue Phoenix is a thing because that's, that's a deck I've been playing for months and months. I call it Dredge. We've been playing that since yeah, since War of the Spark. Before War of the Spark. But yeah, I'm saying that my opponent's deck, I don't think they have Phoenix. I don't think this is that. Okay. So copying works just fine. Yeah, flat flaps. <laughs> yeah. The phoenixes are little are flat flaps. Why is Mill so popular right now? Because of Golos. You know, Gol Golos they won all the the Golos Field of the Dead wants all the cards in their library. You know, like they want all their lands and everything like that, and milling milling them out is a solid strategy. So yeah, I, I certainly think my opponent has counter magic, which is why I didn't just like slam to fairy. I want to. Uh, I was kind of waiting for turn five to be able to go thought erasure and then to fairy. And of course, I could have insighted there, but I didn't really have anything I wanted to discard for insight. So they got to have double counter spell. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, to not have double counter spell. No more games. Yeah, they milled over a bunch of spells for us. Here we go. Well, Drown Secrets is busted. Got to counter that.
As you can tell, I've I've kind of just kept everything on top with like the with the surveils, because more cards in library the better. <clears throat> so I I'll my plan is to instant speed finale of glory this next turn. Right now it's for four. Hopefully we draw a land and it's five. Time for plan B. This might be a bad idea. So brutal. Just can't play any instants with so the fairy. It's a fairy so brutal. Pawn's having a hard time over here. I'll protect you. So I'm at 34 cards, they're at 40. Just casting another finale here, end step, and then attacking for lethal. Still lethal. Still lethal. Because we have Swift End. I guess I could Teferi bounce one also. All right, two and one. Teferi looked pretty brutal against the mono blue opponent that probably had lots of counter magic. You know, like I think that's their their goal is to counter a lot of stuff. And Teferi was like, nope, can't counter stuff. Okay, so we're two and one with Esper Law. How many sevens are booked in? Uh, we just had the one seven win yesterday with Teamer Walkers. We did one, two, three, four, five. We did. We played five different decks. One of them got seven. Hello. Hmm. Guess. So like, I think I want to keep that because of insight, but I guess it's not blue. We need double blue, but we should we should just keep our land. So 
So my opponent could play like their own Teferi. Which is why I didn't just slam my Teferi, because they could play their own and then that would shut off all of my counter magic, of course. I can't really let them resolve a Teferi. So they're playing Fires of Invention, I assume. I want to shut down Fires. <clears throat> nice Fires of Invention. Put it back in your hands. Don't worry. I got this. Ah, can't play that. Go ahead. You want to play your Fires again? Focus, and I have just the trick for this. annoying. Trust me, I have a plan. Um. So I guess I want to like if I inside on their turn, it's like one. Like if I inside on their turn, I could still draw one card. Open mind. That's good. No, I am not making this up as I go. See, so yeah, I got a thought erasure my turns so that I get to, even though I know. Normally we would do instant speed thought erasure, but we want to hold up Dovin's veto. <laughs> They're just in with all drop from dreams, so they can cast one spell a turn. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Opponent's hand seems pretty fishy. <laughs> Gray Zebra, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Come to me. Our eleventh sub of the day. Oh my gosh, why is this sub goal mess up so much? Figure out what's going on with that thing. Uh. Down, down. That's more like it. To them, I come, I will consume you. How All right, well, thought erasure this Clarion, leave him with quads, and then, yeah, be able to, even if they top deck something else, we'll be able to veto it. <laughs> oh man, this is Fires of Invention's worst nightmare. Rule of law. Need all these Noxious Grass because we got to kill Teferi. As long as we take out Teferi, we're, we should be fine. They're going to just bring in, like... <sighs> Sorry, are they going to bring in, like... 
Um, Legion War Boss. War Boss could be a problem. I want to play all these cards. I don't know exactly what I want to cut. I guess I could cut like one insight, one perception. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, game one, we do not beat Golos Field. Um, <clears throat> we have the four Ashiok, two on Mordigo to try to go mill plan against them games two and three and and you know we'll have like disdainful strokes for like you know their goluses and treacheries and stuff and but yeah game one is really game one's pretty tough but the thing is is like you know we do have if we can gosh that's a good card but i need land you know we do have like surprise finale you know we have like an end step finale that can do a whole lot like this deck can just cheese out some wins like that Do you think the field would be more balanced in this meta if we just had Field of the Dead or something? Or if we just had Field of Ruin? Not necessary. Not, not really. Field of Ruin isn't really that strong enough to shut down Field of the Dead. this sub goal thing sorry I'm late let's try this I was really hoping they were gonna be going for fires of invention there You know, so basically, I don't want to, like, Thought Erasure, and they have, like, Teferi and Fires and, like, some other cards, and I, I can take, like, either Teferi or Fires kind of thing. I was just hoping that they were going to slam Fires, to be honest. And I'd be able to Disdainful Stroke it, and then the next turn I'd have four mana, and I could Thought Erasure plus have Disdainful Stroke up. But my plan was really bad against them just simply playing Teferi. And that's what they did, is they just simply played Teferi. And so, my plan did not work out. But, you know, this is why I brought in... Okay, it's not bad. This is why we brought in the... Your end has arrived! the three noxious grass because we just got to clear to ferry off the battlefield i've done the hero thing before listen to the come on sarkin's not very good against Teferi. i mean i can't i can't hold up disdainful stroke they have to ferry in play Sample stroke doesn't do anything. Some more room to fight in. Here goes nothing. Here we go. 
Now what? Let's get toasty. I need another five mana before I can finale for ten. This is difficult to digest. I know eighty-eight meditate and prepare. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's slow this down. I was really hoping they were going to take up Chandra first. Oh, I've done the hero and then I could finale and put a bunch of creatures into play, but I, I can't just put finale and put a bunch of creatures into play with them just being Only able to go Chandra minus and get rid of them. Dissipate. I just can't do that. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Hone your prowess. That doesn't work either. Nothing works. All right, so disdainful stroke looks pretty bad. They were not very fires like all those ashioks. Do I play decree instead of disdainful stroke? I'm going to try playing my own Ashiox. Yes, you can. Yep. Charton, that works. Um, if they do not have a Teferi in play, if they Sarkin, tick up, make all their Planeswalkers creatures, and you have the ability, to, you can instant speed Kaya's Wrath with your Teferi and destroy all their creatures. So, yeah, that works. There's not too many Planeswalker heavy decks in the format, but this certainly seems like one that I wish I had Elder Spell. I think one card that I wish we had in this sideboard was is um, Planar Cleansing. I wish we had one Planar Cleansing in the sideboard. I don't know exactly where to put it. But I think this deck could, could use a Planar Cleansing. What do they do with the scry? Do they just put it on top or bottom? I guess it doesn't really matter.
<clears throat> yeah, recently, Planeswalkers are getting more and more popular again because of Golos. And they don't deal with Planeswalkers too well. And so that could mean to stay on top if you want to be Elder Spelling. Responsibility. Let's try this. Yeah, Wish Claw Talisman can do some good work. It, it just it pairs super well with Teferi, of course. Um, and, you know, pairs well with Ashiok, too. But, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of good... There's a lot of good uses for Wishclaw Talisman in Esper. I wonder what you behold. This is difficult to digest. I'll protect you. My opponent's saying good game, like I have more than two cards in hand. <laughs> Exiled four lands. Thank you very much. My dreams dissipate. Thank you. Smoke. Your final tap. You just let me. I will lost my avatar. No, I am not making this up as I go. Do you need to start minusing this to fairy and draw an extra card? You are that no, my per cognitive perception. My dreams dissipate like smoke. I leave so kept in all their clarions. I can always do better next time. This is difficult to digest. I guess we're not. Don't worry, I got this. We're not going to minus yet, so I'm gonna Clarion end step. good I will get that ashiok out of here this. I shall miss your company yeah Ardenville should do some good work for us that was a, that was a good turn if they grabbed lands with the Drawn from Dreams or not. So 
So I can cast Absorb and still have Arden Veil available. Castle available. I guess honestly that was honestly I messed up that turn. I didn't really look at like the life totals too much and think about it too much, but I should not have attacked Ashiok for two. If I just attack them for two, then they're at eleven and making you know Arden Veil makes a one one, I have lethal the next turn. So I have like lethal with one counter spell backup, and you know, so like the Ashiok doesn't matter too much then. But I guess they have Interplanar Beacon that gains life and stuff anyway, though. But yeah, we good. Here we go. Kenrith gone. Matter of time. Only. I'm, I'm I'm really worried about yeah. So with Flash, I'm really worried about the mana base. If you want to move it to Sultai, I don't I don't think there's probably a good enough mana base for it. That'd be my huge concern. Obviously, getting black removal is nice, but especially like Noxious Grass to take out Ceratops. But I'm really worried about. Mana base there. I think it's it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, finale of glory finale of glory is our win con, yeah. Um so when are you supposed to use it? You can you can um yeah, you can definitely replace Absorb. You can just play more sa Sinister Sabotage if you want. And if you don't want to play to Absorb, that's perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, basically you want you want to play it if you know you can kind of start attacking with it. Basically, if you don't, if you're not going to have to use a Wrath right away or anything. So, you know, a, a lot of these games I'm playing it. You know, X is five, X is six. I I have yet to play it X is ten yet. So like you don't have to just sit back and wait until X is ten. Um, just play it like whenever whenever you have like some especially if you can play it end step with Teferi where you can untap and have counter magic to protect your your army, your instant speed army that you just made. <laughs> you like that I, I dubbed it salt mine on YouTube there. I think our life total is going to matter here quite a bit. I'm not. I don't really want to shock for Dovin's veto. I don't think that they're going to even play any non-creature spell for me to counter right here. Want to draw another white source for Kaya's wrath? Ideally. Puts me down to nine. They activate, I go down to six. Shock go down to four. Murderous Rider not looking so good. White, blue... White, green, blue is called Bant. That was a good hand. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Good hand. This is a tough matchup for me. I have two Devout Decree. Did not really prepare for this matchup. 
Yep, two to vouch it is. <laughs> That's about all I got. At least our sideboarding was easy. Yeah, I guess I could have played to spark over one of the Dovin's Vitos. Kind of sideboard quickly there. I guess I could have. I just I didn't have like things to really to take out too many vetoes, but I I could have brought in a Dispark over one of them. That could have been one, but there's not really other things to bring in. I mean, I guess if I want Disdainful Stroke to counter those four drops, I guess I could have done that. If I take any of the other things, it just turns on this Order of Midnight to be able to bring it back. And plus, Order of Midnight's like a creature they could have played here that would have started attacking for a lot of damage. This is a lot better for us than having this interaction hand. I don't really care about these murderous riders. We don't even have double black anyway. Well, that hurts. Interesting. They took Teferi, even though they have the Murderous Riders. I don't have enough black mana for Kai's Wrath. <clears throat> Yay. Um, I'm going to cast Precognitive Perception during my turn. For the Scry, I don't, we don't really need to hold up Absorb when we have Kaya's Wrath anyway. These are pretty good. We'll take those. I can have I can go like Thought Erasure, hold up Absorb this next turn. Uh, the previous song was No Wow by The Kills. Rude. What? Really? Should not have thought erased, thought erased there.
I didn't decree the previous turn because then I didn't have absorb available. So if they top deck some scary thing, I couldn't absorb it. And then my decree would be gone and then I wouldn't have an answer to it. <clears throat> yeah, decree's a, a sorcery, so yeah, I didn't I couldn't just do it at end step. Usually I'd play like the you know, these things to be tap lands, but um I want to be able to have double absorb. All right, that can give us an instant speed finale. Next turn. So we're in a good spot. This might be a bad idea. Not sure if I want to shock. Three, six. <laughs> nah. We don't really need to cast finale this next this turn anyway. It's true. We do have to be worried about a whole bunch of bone crushers. Three, six, seven, eight. I'm two turns away from finale for ten. Perfect. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So next turn, we get to finale for ten. And we just counter everything this turn. So I have one, two, three. So I have three counter spells available. Let's play the one they know about. They knew about that absorb. They don't know about the other absorb. Okay. So 
So dispark in, veto out, and none of these are playable. D Disdainful Strokes, I guess, kind of playable, but we saw them go kind of spell heavy there where maybe our vetoes kind of help us. Yeah, absorb absorb's pretty underrated. What do you side out when you put an Ashiok into the teamer walkers versus Golos? Um I sided out Sahili. Um if you I guess if you want to see to see exactly what I was doing, again check out check out YouTube. We played against Golos twice in the in the teamer walkers video. You know, kind of just scroll, look for look for me playing against walkers, and then and then you know look to see how I sideboard. Um, we played against it twice. That's what I'd recommend. Sorry, I don't have a, a great answer for you there, Hippo Scott. Do you need a second black source for Kai's Wrath? Do you think 2x Precognitive, 2x Chemisters is a good way to go now instead of 4 Chemisters? Not necessarily. Yeah, I do really like Precognitive Perception, though. I think it's an underrated card. But Chemisters Insight's really good, too. So not, not just like... Automatically, yes, that's better. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, <clears throat> I basically think that it's it's basically about the same. You know, going two precog, two chemisters, or, or playing four chemisters, like in a deck, it's not too much different. Uh, not really. No, sir. No. Um, I just. stream full time so I do every day make content for y'all play fun and interesting decks every day <laughs> maybe it is just all a ruse who knows Maybe, you know, maybe life's just a simulation. You never know. What's what's really going on? Are we actually making decisions in life? No, oh, the two that say MC were metagame challenge. I am not going to sit this one out. No, I am not making this up as I go. Should have seen that coming. Sorry, I'm late. I'll protect you. Can I just have quench up?
Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. We will meet again. <sighs> Thought erasure. It's Foulmire Knights. My opponent has shown to be incredibly patient, not playing a third creature out in play until I deal with these. Don't think my opponent's going to play another spell, but, you know, they do have the castle they get to activate. But, of course, if I if I time wipe, then my opponent, you know, plays more cards. If I don't time wipe, my opponent doesn't play more cards and makes castle more painful, therefore less castle. So I'm also incentivized to not... I'm incentivized to not... Um kill these creatures because they're just two one ones we've done a really good job getting rid of a lot of lands One land in the graveyard. Three lands down at the bottom. It's a, it's a good game of magic. Good quality game of magic here. <clears throat> so if I go five, so let's go four. And then we can have double Counter spell up. They did bite. They played Bone Crusher Giant. I think they should have played the Crusader because, yeah, they they should have tried to get a card out of their hand because this is just another point of damage that they take there. So they should have kept the Crusher over here and played Crusader, or you know something else. It's weird seeing me play this level control. Always been pretty good at control decks. I don't know if that card really matters that much, but we'll absorb it. Back up to 14. Hopefully we draw land. 
Ugh. No land. Just finale for nine. What am I doing? Finale for six. I don't want them to be able to Legion's end my tokens. Keep up my counter spell. Yeah, I yeah, I, I think that my opponent could have played another resource out on the battlefield earlier. Cause yeah, it did give me that extra time, which was pretty nice. What is what is that card supposed to do? It's not Legion's End. And we see the, the problem with sitting back and drawing and losing a whole bunch of life with Castle. I just have like the one turn lethal where I, I could just play my finisher, have a counter spell up, and have lethal. No, I don't want them I don't want to counter this because I don't want them to be able to just go land Legion's End. No reason to counter that thing. <laughs> I did sideboard out Rule of Law for this matchup. Good match of magic there. All right, we're four and one. Final boss time. I'm going to just stay on this playlist instead of going to final boss playlist. I like the postal service. And this deck can take a while. We'll probably go through the entire final boss playlist. We're close to it. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I guess, yeah, Starman, kind of up to you. Uh, yeah, you got you got some arena pre-release codes you, you could do. Um, I mean, basically the only way that, that I would do it is just do like a give. You know, just we could do it like giveaway style. Casting Foulmire Knight. We could do a giveaway style. Um, or do a big giveaway. Or or you can just, you know, kind of ask chat, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't just post it right in chat. You could just, like, ask. I need water after this this league. My throat is hurting. I need to get some water. Gross. 
Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. So yeah, you just pick out four people. Starman from chat. <clears throat> And you can DM them. Hmm. Thank you so much, Starman. Thanks for giving away some free release codes. I really appreciate that. Hey, Odinson. I assume they're doing the part that I can Dovin's Veto. Alright, so that's our 12th sub of the day. If I can figure out how to update this. There we go. All right, got a sweeper. We're still in a rough spot though with them having this castle. Get these extra cards. That's a good sign for us. That's a really good sign. Suddenly spot not so rough anymore. Yep, yep, chip damage is, can be problematic for sure. Bleh. <clears throat> That's so good. to that murderous rider. bad yeah my opponent is so lucky They're so lucky Too many card draw spells, not enough time. Drawing yet another card draw spell is just the worst possible thing I can be drawing right now. I 
How do they still have infinite of those? Yeah, they still get the one ones. But at least the love struck beast is out of there. Yeah, Mind Twist is pretty rough. Discard eight cards. Wait, they just didn't do the other part to draw? Oh, I guess they don't want to lose the life, I guess. Going for the mill plan. I mean, so like ego is the kind of card that you don't usually want to play it all because it's it's card disadvantage and tempo loss. We saw that from our opponent that like, you know, a card like Edgewall Innkeeper or Lucky Clover is just worth so many cards that it's, you know, like those cards were just worth, you know, 10, 15 cards each that, so going one for, you know, getting one for zero to keep your opponent from doing that may not be the worst thing ever. Rule of Law should be awesome in this matchup if we play Rule of Law. Not against Clover, but against them casting all sorts of small creatures and everything. I can't actually go Ashiok plan. I don't know. Ashiok plan is just good against like all their cards that bring stuff back. I don't I just don't think I'm gonna actually outgrind my opponent here. I think I need I think this is a, a finale of glory win. I think that's you know like we didn't have any finale of glory there. I think that's like the card that we need to help us win this.
Yeah, like their their deck's gonna outgrind ours. So we need. Uh, it's a good card. We need finale of glory. Yeah, like they're they're probably not <clears throat> ready to face a whole bunch of two twos. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I could have kept Dismal Backwater instead of Watery Grave. Kept either one. Could have. Right, my turn. That would have been really nice to have that absorb last turn. Kind of that innkeeper. Yeah, hopefully this rule of law slows them down. Won't let them keep on getting the free cards. Perfect. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's try this. Rule of law. Being awesome. How do we win finale of glory? All right, there we go. This is this is perfect. You get your one spell. What what spell do you want? You want to cast a Beanstalk Giant, huh? Okay, Beanstalk Giant resolves. I will cast a Swift End on that Beanstalk Giant. All right, my turn. I can play one spell. We're playing Fair Magic over here. And there we go. Rule of Law. We did it. We did it. Opponent said, that's enough for me. I don't want to do this anymore. Look at that rule of law. That was awesome. Uh, that was a different matchup I sideboarded out rule of law. That was against the Rakdos aggro that was really fast I sideboarded out. Could use some black mana. I swear they play like eight of that card. At least. Minimum eight. I brought in two Noxious Grasps, so I just didn't bring in the third. Their hands insane. By their hands insane, I mean they have Lucky Clover. Double Innkeeper, are you kidding me? Oh, 
Well, I guess this veto doesn't even work here. So I was going to be playing the Tranquil Cove anyway. I should have just put the veto back. I should have just put that on the bottom. But, you know, I'm expecting them to... You know, like, all these things are, like, spells also. Like, veto counters, like, all these things. So, like, yeah, like, being able to veto counter Love Struck Beast would have been nice. Me down to ten. So I could have shocked to be able to insight. You know, obviously I need to play time wipe next turn. up so many cards because those in those innkeepers are just so busted drew six cards in with innkeepers they have five cards in hand they drew six like imagine if they didn't just draw six cards Ugh, would have been nice they had nothing to play how they have nothing to play Hey, Johnny Popeye. <laughs> uh, dang. Sorry, Johnny. Rough day there. And Rasslin with the support. Welcome to the channel, Rasslin. As well, that's sub number 14 on the day. More divinations for our opponent. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. All right, we got Lucky Clover out of there. Kind of. The problem with absorbing this is they do get to have, like, discard and stuff afterwards. But it's got to be worth it. And yeah, I could have thought erasured it away, but it does tap their mana. All right, time to finale kill him. Thanks, USA Medic. Yeah, we've we have just been playing some really good games the last few matches, just back and forth. This has been a, a very good league. This is hardly my worst defeat. I wonder if our opponent has a sweeper. 
doubtful, right? I mean, find finality. I guess finality. Yes, yeah, so that, that does hurt having the Teferi gone, so I don't get to instant speed the other one. Well, I can just finale for four and then hold up Sabotage. They would have to have Duress plus finality, and they haven't had Duress for a little while. Wait, is that right? Wait, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, or finale for three. That takes out two, that takes out one. I don't think they're going finality. Well, they're definitely not going finality anymore. Um, we try to Ashiok and mill out the Field of the Dead opponent. No. Wait, that's still... That's still exactly, exactly lethal? They needed one more creature, right? Because this takes out two, that takes out two. That's that's four creatures being blocked, and then this blocks a fifth, so they take two uh, two creatures get through, feeling exact lethal. Okay, got there five one. Five win league with Esper Law. Rule of Law played a big part of a couple of games. You know, it wasn't like it wasn't the only thing our deck had going for us, but it did play a really big part in a couple of games there. Yeah, rule of like I I have to say that I was really impressed with rule of law. Uh, it's something that obviously like you need you need like the mana to be able to play it and be able to play other things. Like there's a couple of times where we were just like stuck on mana, and then rule of law didn't help us at all whenever we were stuck on mana, of course. Um, but yeah, against that Golgari Adventure deck, that's a tough deck for us to beat, for sure. As you can see, like, we're relying on Finale of Glory, uh, you know, just kind of ending the game. Like, surprise Finale with Teferi. That's, I mean, that's our win con and everything, though, but, um... The Rule of Law of the Game 2 really shut my opponent down. Just saying, hey, you can only cast one spell. Whenever they, they have so much card advantage and they get so many cards, <laughs> one card, that's all you can play. That was pretty nice there. Yeah, this deck worked out really well. We did not play against Golos. We did not play against Field of the Dead. The plan is, is of course, try to survive until turn 12 and finale for 10 against Field of the Dead. That That's like, you know, the little finales aren't nearly as good against the zombies. To try to do stuff to survive for then. Um, you know, you have a lot of counter spells for like their top end stuff. If they don't if they don't naturally draw Field of the Dead, it's a whole lot easier because you know you can counter Golos all day. 
Um, and then, you know, post board, try to take Field of the Dead out with on Mordigo and Ashiok, mill them out. That's the plan there. Okay, but that's Esper Law. So built a deck around Rule of Law, and it worked. It actually worked there. Um, okay, so uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and also let me know what you think of this deck, if, if this, if, uh, if you, how you liked Rule of Law in particular, and if you have other ideas of how to build around Rule of Law and make Rule of Law look good, um, you know, leave some comments. Let me know over there in the comment section. All right, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.